All right, in this video, we're going to talk about um, an online resource called Art Breeder. Uh, Art Breeder is a website where a magical robot will make art for you. Um, it's a little weird, and uh, it's sort of like an AI that goes and grabs random images and smooshes them together. So, I mean, you could recognize there's like Hugh Jackman right there and, uh, you know, lo lots of recognizable uh, people are in here, but it can create um, realistic pictures, artistic pictures, anime pictures. Uh, they added furries, they do landscapes, uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, so at the site, uh, I'm in the browse area. And basically, I want to create some NPCs. So I want to create some NPCs for uh, just backgrounds, commoners, NPCs that they might encounter, future shopkeepers, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of go through and select somebody to be the base. I'm going through just selecting somebody here to be the base. So I think this lady right here. We will pick her uh, to be the base. All right. And now if I like, if I like her, I could go ahead and uh, favorite it. And you could create an account uh, with this or log in with your Google account. And it will allow you to have like a favorites folder, basically, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then these are all, I guess, children, right? That this image has created for other users. So I could just go and, you know, grab these if I wanted to. I want it to be a bit more artsy, right? This is still very high res kind of photograph. So what I could do is they have all of these sliders over here that you can use to change the image. So if I go over here, there's an art slider. And if I move the art slider to the right, that will increase the artisticness of this image. So the further I take it over, the more essentially Photoshop filters are being applied that make it less of a photograph and more of a painting. You can see that it's softened up the skin textures, softened up the hair, tried to make it look more like a person had painted it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then uh, it's cool that she's kind of looking off to the side, but I could turn her head so that it is facing towards the camera. So with that, I go to yaw up here and I just move that to the left to turn her head to the left. And now just like that, this 2D image is now looking straight at the camera. I could even make her look down or up, excuse me. So I could tilt her head up. I could tilt her head down. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so if I'm happy with those settings, I could hit save or I could keep going. So uh, here I could make her older if I wanted to, uh, which will apply wrinkles and stuff, see, and change the hair color. I could try to make her look younger Right, which, uh, you know, it makes exaggerated eyes, a mouth and nose, a smaller head. Uh, if I want to reset, I just hit that little circle and it resets. Um, I could even change up um, like, like ethnicity, right? So I could go with more of like uh, Asian heritage and then it will sort of combine what's there with its database full of Asianic like looking uh, people. So if I keep going, that's a little, a little crazy there. All right. Uh, or I could keep it as is. Um, and you could do other things as well. Like you could control how wide the mouth is open or closed. Uh, you can change the hair you could change the hair color. Uh, so much cool stuff that you could do here. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really cool tool. Uh, when I'm happy with what I got, I could just save out the image if I wanted to uh, and then use it for a token or a handout. Uh, I can also save it here and then it will get added to my collection, which is pretty neat. Um, so she's great. She's, she's going to be the, the mother 
of this island or this village that the party's going to go to. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of kids. So if I just click on the children's uh, tab here, it says, hey, this is what maybe like six of her kids would look like. And that's pretty cool. So I could go in here and uh, grab one of those and then modify that some more if I wanted to. Uh, and then there's this crossbreed, which is where the art breeder thing comes in. And then for the crossbreeding, I go and I find her uh, another person to make babies with. So I go through here. It sounds pretty bad, but y you follow me. Uh, let's see. This, oh, was that? No, this swarmy guy right here. There we go. So the two of them combine, and they make this new person. Uh, so I can have more or less uh, of the face and style of these different people, which is pretty cool. And if I like what I got, I can hit save, and then I have this new character. So yeah, that works for me. So I'll go ahead and hit save. This is the this is the kid they made together. So now I've got another NPC. So then I could go to this NPC and I could say, yeah, I want this to be more artsy. So again, I could slide the art slider over and suddenly it becomes more like a painting and less like a photograph. I could say that, yeah, this guy's always got his mouth open. Hey, there we go. And you can see that the AI is not flawless, right? His skin tone changed, the lighting changed to accommodate uh, the mouth opening. Um, but, you know, it's still pretty neat. And maybe I think his head's too wide, so I could make his head not as wide. Uh, very, very cool. So lots of neat stuff that you could do with this. I could save this out. And then I could see what kind of kids this person would have. All right, so yeah, this person's looking pretty cool. So I'm gonna click on this person. And now I could also raise the art slider up to make it more like a painting. There we go. And give them a more narrow head. And I think, there we go. This is more stereotypical gender roles, this slider. So if I wanted that person to have like uh, like a daughter, I could kind of drag it over and it adds earrings and longer hair, which is a more traditional uh, lady feature. I could go with an even more narrow head. I could make them kind of turn to the side there and look down a little bit. There we go. And you do get occasional weird artifacts. Like there's this little bump on the neck, but maybe that's a mole. Who knows? Maybe when they were painting it, they uh, they dropped their brush there. It's okay. Uh, maybe they have their eyes closed a little bit because they're scrutinizing you. There we go. Uh, do I want the eyes to be more green? Uh, I could raise the green levels a little bit. So there's a lot of stuff you could do here. It's really, really neat. Um, you could bust out a whole bunch of um, essentially original uh, NPC or character arts in a very short amount of time, uh, just sort of going through this process and saving them out as you go. Then you turn them into tokens or handouts or whatever, and you have unique art to represent your different characters. So I like it. It's a very cool resource.